At the first sign of him being slightly distressed, I'll take him out. It doesn't, that's my camera. So I just, yeah, I'm just filming myself. Thank you though. <laughs> yeah, just trying to steal stuff. <laughs> Judas. Okay, I'm a little bit sick today. Let's get you out of here. Oh, are you under the weather, Oliver, you poor soul? So, no side quests today, but I have a video I'd like to get through. And maybe I'll, I'll take you through how I make this video. So the other day I went to the... Let me just take this crap. Oh, funny story about this actually. So you have the group bluey green and the orange. I graduated college, I'd never bought cold and flu medicine before and I was working in the first job I had after college. And I felt pretty sick so stupidly I should have just gone home but I went to go and get some cold and flu medicine and I was like I didn't look at what they said on the front, I saw cold and flu, I was like cool I want the bluey green colour. So I got the bluey green, not too much longer later I'm sat at my desk and I'm like what the... I feel drunk, what's going on? Obviously, you know what went on. I was about to fall asleep at work. Let me show you this. Oh, please don't do that. Ms. Work stick. So I have a partnership with the MLS, Major League Soccer, okay? But I also have a partnership with Sporting KC. I'll be straight up. Unreal that I have this opportunity, right? That's crazy. So each month, Let's do June, July, August, I almost forgot which months come next, September, etc, etc, etc. I have to make a video each month. Vid, 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 vid. I think those are mismatched. So this video goes on their TikTok account. This video goes on the Sporting KC's TikTok account. Now the really cool thing is that, I don't know, odd right? Nah, we should do that. Should be SQD, a side quest dad. I get to make the video however I want to. So it's the idea, let's do a light bulb. It's the idea that is everything to me to make a video to go on these guys' accounts. Now for a really long time, oh, comfy. I was, I wouldn't say fighting, but I was pushing for some really cool ideas, but none of them were getting any traction. It was like, there's too much red tape to jump through. We can't get this one done, can't get that one done. Until the last video I had to make for them. Professional soccer team's grounds crew. What do they do the day before game? Oh, fucking hell. Really? Now I really like this idea, among some of the others I had, because it gives me the opportunity to one, have a fun experience while I film the video, and two, because I think it's so interesting to see the behind the scenes of the things you don't really think of. Like when you go to a professional sports game, you think of how good the field looks, but you don't think of the work that's gone into it. So I think there's a huge opportunity here to showcase that. And today we're gonna edit it and tell the story. So I've got some notes. <clears throat> so here's how I make a video. And I realized that sometimes it's quite daunting for people who don't know how to make a video, like you haven't developed a process, and so the whole thing you're trying to figure out as you go along. So maybe this will help you if you're interested in making videos. You might not be. So for me, I have my idea. I'm not gonna chewing them out. I'm not gonna talk through how I used to make videos because it was a very different way, but how I make videos now is I film the vlog and I may or may not have had some ideas that I put into the vlog but after filming the vlog I'll I can't spell edit down to cut out the things I need there I will review the footage script edit in this case the TikTok now depending on what I'm going to do sometimes I'll come up with some ideas beforehand that will go into filming the vlog for the day but sometimes I, I do like this idea of just filming it on a whim Whatever happens, happens. Just so doing it for the enjoyment as opposed to scripting the whole thing and then essentially creating a movie shot for shot, which I hate the idea of. So in this video, actually, when I was filming the vlog, I had a lot of downtime in between bits that I was filming. So I started to take 
notes of how the story would look. Not necessarily actually how the story would look, but of pieces that I found particularly interesting that I'd like to include. So for this video, there were three main things that we did on that day. We did the mowing, we did the rolling, and we did the painting. But there are other bits that we can throw in here that are very interesting. So like the heating of the field and the grass blends that they have. So knowing that these are some items that I want to fit into the script, I can then go and look at the footage that I'm going to just edit down to the essential bits and see where do I have comments that I made at in the moments that I can slot into the video that also add into this. It's much easier to do a full script of... By the way, I'm taking this kind of semi-seriously because I don't have much time to get this video done. <laughs> it's much easier to do a full-blown script and then just put stuff on top of that script, that voiceover. But I like the idea of doing a hybrid because it gives that kind of authentic feel that stuff wasn't just filmed for the sake of being filmed. Like it gives a sense of the person, the character, me, in the moment. So now I'm going to edit down the footage, which is essentially going to be the vlog. And then I'll take the sections from the vlog into the TikTok. Okay, there's so much footage here for me to break down that I don't have the time to. So I think I'm just gonna go into scripting it and just bring up the main talking points. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. Right, so a couple of choices I have to make here now that the script is done. One is to make sure the hook is as good as it can be. And two, I have this bit in here where I say the final job required some serious OCD as the lines were carefully measured and painted so they don't get fined for changing pitch side mid-season. I think that's a cool bit to add in, but I'm not sure they're going to like that being added in because there's a bit of an explanation behind it. Like for the general, for the average person, you're going to hear so they don't get fined for changing pitch mid-season, pitch size mid-season. The average person going to be like, okay, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. But someone who's looking at it a little bit closer is going to be like, oh, I, I want to know more about that. Is, is the MLS, like the company above all these franchises, is that a bad company? So what that means is when I film this section, when I record this audio, I'll do it twice. So I'll do one with the whole audio and then another with out that latter section. And then I have the flexibility if we do or don't like it. So at this point, record the audio and just throw the clips on top. Very nice. I didn't give myself a lot of time to get that done, but I did get it done, and I'm pretty proud of what came out of it. Um, I just sent it off to everyone, thanked the people involved, and the day of, we spoke about potentially doing a comparison of a, what they do for a soccer field versus what they do for a football field, at, like the Chiefs, because these guys are in contact with the guy who runs it over at the Chiefs. And so we'll see if we can get something cooking there. That would be really cool. It was the, th the thing that I dislike about this video is that I couldn't get as much information in there as I really wanted to. Like, cause trying to keep it at a minute, which honestly was longer than I wanted to have the video. Trying to keep it at a minute. I, th I feel like I included a lot. But there was so much more I wanted to. So the YouTube video, I think, is going to be really telling of all the information I learned that day and what they really do. Okay. Good night. Hello, Mr. Chobacus. So this place we're about to go into has a very interesting business model. But it's a seasonal place. And so instead of having a store the whole year round, they just pop up stores whenever it's this time of year. Ruga, what kind of outfit are you going to get? You want to be a ninja? Chobi, I wonder if you'll sit in one of these. You gonna sit in here and see what you think? Wow, Chobies. <gasps> what do you think? I'm not doing this for content. What do you think, Ruki? Kobe? Are you looking up at the, whoa, at the monster? This is pretty dodgy. At the first sign of him being slightly distressed, I'll take him out. Dude, Shay, he loves this. He's been, <laughs> he's been chilling the whole time and then he's been looking out the side. Kobe, look at your brother. Oh no, 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 no. 
I'm not going to let you do it, bud, because we need to be really... Gosh, hi, Jobs. I'm not going to lie. These are actually quite scary to have. That's quite scary. That clown is not cute looking. Oh my gosh, so scary in here. Ah, this guy all about cocaine bear. Very pretty hair. No, thank you, buddy. Come here, Mr. Jobs. Whoa, sorry, mister. Oh, and jump. Yeah, look. CVS. All right, we've got him a ninja outfit. What are you doing with that, Mr. Kobe? The end of the... That's the end of the vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. You're about to get eaten.